Yeah, so, sometimes, sometimes the controls get a little odd, but then they fix themselves. Master, I have an update. I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. A column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs in, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the clouds of the area land below. I must also caution you that descending into the surface of the da -da -da -da, armed with only a sword, a priest, and a uh, shield and potions. Yeah, I got a shield. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. Interface. Yeah, I, I've been. I've been. Thank you. I will go with the light interface. Or, actually. Pro. Standard. Eh, I'll go with light. Light interface is more like what I'm used to in most Zelda games. Yeah. <laughs> I bet my past self was glad I told you to redo the sync test, because that did not look that good. <laughs> nah. Sometimes the controls get a little wonky, but then they seem to fix themselves. Like, not that well. Okay, that was... Wait, did you just swing up and the sword swung down? Yeah, I don't know... Uh, hold on. Let me, um... Let me recalibrate this. I think it's because I'm not doing it, like, in the center. In front of me, which is where they want you to do it. Yeah, I've never had the controls be weird like that before, so I don't know what the hell is going on there. <laughs> You've never had that happen to you either, have you? I uh, don't think so. Oh, uh, well, whatever. Welcome to the bazaar. Oh my gosh, people. Uh, I just want to do her ugly voice. We've got like, what, three, four people in this place? Yeah. Oh, uh, hey, hey, you there. Yes, you, the, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop! You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts! Hey! You're, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Hmm. Let me tell you... One, uh, let me tell you. One look at you, and I can tell you'll need my potions by the cauldron's full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Oh dear! I forgot to ask if you have any uh, have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour it into. Hmm. For for some reason, I I like you though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things with besides potions in an empty bottle, so it's a useful thing to carry around. Yeah. I can stuff bugs in there and then drink potions bottles, out of it later. Bottles really are a valuable commodity in this universe. For some reason. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off at the item check. So, what would you like to buy? Nothing! <laughs> what a crazy chin. <laughs> uh, hello, and welcome to the item check. Wanna put stuff from your pouch into storage? Okay. Wanna take something out of storage? That's fine. So, is there anything in your pouch in or storage that you wanna move? No! Oh, really? Great. Not like my time is worth anything. She makes me think of my from... Avatar The Last Airbender. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah! Hey, welcome to the scrap shop! I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger! And if, you're, and if your shield takes a beating, no worries! I can fix that too! So, what'll it be? Never mind. What the was it? Well then, why, why'd you even talk to me? <laughs> I'll voice this guy. Hey, hello, and welcome to my humble little side business over here. 
I uh, infused the potions with my. Uh, wait, 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 wait! No, <laughs> no, no! I would have. No, no, no! I flubbed the. Lump. I infused the potions with my wife. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> I'm sure she must really love you for that. <laughs> I have used the potions my wife sells with new ingredients <laughs> to increase their power. It's nothing really, just something I like to do. Uh, well, uh, do you have any potions you'd like me to infuse? Your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I see. No bother to me. I hope to see you again someday. You're just disappointing everyone here today, Mike. <laughs> I just want to point out. I did it, oh baby! Kind of looks like Alamar. We know, baby boo. <laughs> it does. It's got the curl and everything. Uh, I think that was. I think that was on purpose. And and the the pacifier kind of looks like the whistle. Uh huh. Rupin, my man. You. Okay. Uh, ah, a custom. Oh my. Okay. Let's try. Probably not a good idea to go with that voice. Um. Uh. Oh. Man, whenever I look at them, I think of, um, Beetle. But it's not Beetle, because Beetle's actually in this game. I'll voice Beetle. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, uh, my shop carries the finest products! You'll find anything! You'll find anywhere. You, you'll find anywhere! Please, take a moment for your... For... Uh, to wait. Take a moment for, for your, your senses, senses to savor the... Sorry, that sentence just confused my brain. To savor the wonderful treasures I have prepared just for your friend. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay, I got the voice now. I got it. Got it. Aha! Oh, of course, someone as bright and say it savvy as yourself doesn't need to hear me rattle on straight to business. Please, friend, feast your eyes on this this landscape of fantastical treasures I have prepared for you today. Oh, <laughs> I'm you, oh this guy! What? What the, the? Why did you talk to me? Why does your face creep me out so much? <laughs> What's this? What is this? What is that my eyes behold? I don't know, I don't know what your eyes behold. <laughs> oh, young man, what calamitous vision, calamitous visions appear before me. You must choose not, you may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead for you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. <sighs> Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. You creep me out, little mustache man. No, I am not. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> seems like you're on the road to success, little friend. How about I buy us a beverage? Sure. There's a good lad. Cheers! <coughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> uh, that's the stuff. There we go. Let me give you some information you might find useful somewhere down the line. The Night Academy you and your friends attend produces some first-class Lothwing riders. Keep your nose to the grindstone, and you might find yourself soaring through the skies and protecting the good folk of Skyloft too. Don't know if you've met him, uh, met him or not, but the rescue knights save anyone clumsy enough to fall off of Skyloft. They oh, I met them! They kind of have a spider sense going on, if you know <laughs> what I mean. Uh, I met them in the last episode. Yeah, <laughs> I remember. Only the Knights Academy seniors are invited to join that gang. They're the best group. of the best as a group. <laughs> you might just have you you might just have what it takes to join them, but don't think it'll be easy. No slack in your hair. Guess I should tell you my grandson's one of them. <laughs> okay. She has a weird nose. Yeah, that's a weird nose. Hmm. Dash pepper. Delicious. Another culinary delight. Ready to be savored and enjoyed. <laughs> a dash of cinnamon. A cup of cinnamon. A cup of cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the plastic minnows? 
You looking to get your grub on? The food here is so good. You gotta be patient though. It seems like you wait forever for anything around here. <laughs> All right, I think that's everyone in the bus. <laughs> Link's just gonna run into the wall for a second there. <laughs> he had a Jack moment. <laughs> Didn't really snag one in the wall, but he had a Jack moment. There, have we voiced everyone on Skyloft? No. May yes, maybe. No, I, I don't... No. There, there's at least one other person we haven't voiced. But she won't appear till later. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, I know where I want to go. Stamina fruit! Stamina fruit! What do you have to say? You, I think you were voicing him. Hi, hi! Hey, look up there! It's Beetle's airship! It's there! He sells bug nets there! I want one so bad! You look like an onion. There's a ball oh. hang Bell! Bell, not ball. Bell hanging down from the shop! I hear if you ring it, Beetle will stop for you and pick you up! But the bell is up off the ground! You'd have to launch something at it to have, to have any hopes of ringing it! Wee! Geronimo! <laughs> Flying through the skies of the sky. Ah. <sighs> Zoom in. Uh. Uh. Oh, I can't play some. Waypoints? Yeah, not yet. Waypoints? God bless the man that invented waypoints. They save so much time. Uh, of but course, I like God cursed the man who invented the waypoint system in the sparkly trail system in Fable 2. <laughs> yeah. That sparkly trail doesn't know where the fuck it's going. Fable 1 with its, uh... Just... Oh, we're stopping off here first. Yep. Well, I mean, you know. Gotta see what's going on at the... Uh, the pumpkin. Dang. Ooh. What's that on the chandelier? The Lumpy Pumpkin. It actually sounds like a place that would be in, like, Lord of the Rings or something. <laughs> and here's Mark's favorite girl. Oh, Well, well, welcome. I can see from your handsome outfit that you're a Skyloft Knight. I hope you'll make yourself at home. Have the, have the, rup have the rupees sitting on top of the chandelier caught your eye? Don't go thinking that you can get those, you hear? Get those down. Get those down, you hear? You might think that you could knock the rupees down by bumping something and making the chandelier shake, but... Don't even think about it. Are we clear? Oh, it wasn't the rupees that caught my eye. <laughs> oh, this I can't even remember what voice I gave him. Yeah. <laughs> he sounds quiet. Hey, Link. That sounds about right. <laughs> I didn't think I'd see you here. Bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Not really. Not really. I always knew you weren't a bug lover like me. And one day, I'll invent time travel and I'll go and marry Agatha. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, how do you even know who that is? <laughs> Oh, wait. Sifting applications, plow pumpkin field. Oh, I, I think it's the sign over here. No rough, no rough housing on the balcony. Big ruckuses cause the chandelier to shake. Uh, wow, you're already breaking all the pots. <laughs> get down here and uh, get down and come here this instant. 
I just made a voice for him on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I did not plan. I wonder what... what would happen if you could glitch your way out of the house and go back inside. Do you think he'd still be mad at you? <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. You got a piece of heart! Yes, for it. What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done! You broke my fancy custom order chandelier! <laughs> You're gonna be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me! Got that? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? Of course. That's right, and I'm gonna hold you to that! Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver my famous soup to Aegis Skyloft's Night Commander. The Knight Commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to the Knight Commander? Yup. Alright then, here's, here's the hot pumpkin soup. Deliver that to the Knight Commander. I'd try hot pumpkin soup. I'd totally try that. <laughs> uh, it cools in five minutes. It's kind of like the spring water. Yeah. Listen up, Cade. The Knight Commander hates cold soup. So you're gonna take this hot soup over to him. I'd say you got to deliver it in less than five minutes or the soup will get cold. Five minutes or less! Uh, no. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of that cartoon cartoon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we'll deliver anywhere in the world for five minutes or less. Five minutes or less! <laughs> no, 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 five minutes. Uh, we'll deliver to the Arctic Circle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Blubber Boy! I'm gonna give you a new blow! <laughs> if you wanna make big, big tips! It's really not that hard to get to this guy in five minutes or less. <laughs> By the time you've delivered the soup, the episode will be over. <laughs> soup delivery! Five minutes or less! <laughs> Is that the episode name? Might as well be! <laughs> Either that or hot pumpkin soup. I want to try hot pumpkin soup now. That actually sounds kind of tasty. I'd imagine it would be kind of like pumpkin pie. In soup form. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be sweet. And I clearly dived in front of there. You dived right in front of the knight that... The... And I uh, land here! Because <laughs> it's two separate maps. That's a shame they had to make it two separate maps. Yeah, if it was a Wii U game, they probably wouldn't have to. Yeah, I mean, just look at Xenoblade Chronicles, Chronicles X. X. I gotta get back to playing that game. You voice this guy. Oh, yeah. Hey, Link, have you been working hard on your swordsmanship? Hmm, I smell something. Oh, I, I know that earth, earthy aroma. Uh, aroma? Uh, <laughs> earthly Is, aroma. Isn't that my favorite pumpkin soup? I asked the owner of the lumpy pumpkin to bring me some, but... You went out of your way to deliver some to me? That's right! Yes, give it to me! Give it to me. <laughs> oh, 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 give it to me. Dang it, I want to drink it. So good. Mmm, this is the stuff. Pumpkin soup is best piping hot. If I drank that piping hot, be like, ah! <laughs> Yeah. I feel everything, like, roughly ten degrees hotter than it is. <laughs> My mother would, when I was when I was little, and my mother was would prepare my bath water. She'd be like, "Oh, it seems warm," and I'd be like, "Oh, that's thing hot!" I I I burnt my tongue on some uh, maple syrup the other day when I was having waffles. It was really hot syrup. Ooh, was it like syrup in microwave? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, okay. Well done. Thanks. Uh, say thanks to the owner for me. Alright guys, that's the episode. Next episode, I will get to the forest, I swear! Finally! Finally! I just wanted to take care of that. Finally! Oh, and by the way, getting that heart piece in the chandelier sets off a 
whole other set of side quests where, uh, you, where once you're done, you get another heart piece. So it's basically like getting two heart pieces. One now and one later. Finally! Bye. Finally! <laughs>